Oh, right, so we're back. Of course, talk about some Final Fantasy 16. It's actually been a little bit. If we don't include the recent like state of play kind of ranty video that I did in March, we haven't actually done a you know, 16 video in like half a year or something like that. It's been quite a while. But we finally got some sort of a goddamn update for this game. Finally, it's a brief kind of like paragraph from Naoki Yoshida or Yoshi P, as people like to call him, but it's an important one. And it honestly comes from a pretty weird source because Final Fantasy is doing a collaboration with a Uniqlo or Uniqlo, or not I say it, some sort of Japanese clothing company. And they have like an in-store pamphlet, I guess, when you're there shopping, and that's where we get this like paragraph from Yoshida from. Super weird. Like, I completely understand the collaboration. Square Enix is always shitting out merchandise for the franchise. Nothing wrong there to be expected. But why are we getting a Final Fantasy 16 update after a pretty long bit of silence? Aren't we supposed to get like some major news in spring at some point? And we're already rolling into like May now. We're getting close to summer. I guess technically we're still in the spring season for a little while, up until June, I think it is. But as a kid, you know, summertime was June and July, so I just I always assume that you know spring's a little bit sooner than that. But I figured by now we would have already had that update, unless they're considering this the update, or maybe there's more news to come at some sort of point. But why are we getting this information from a goddamn pamphlet? So right here we have the paragraph, which you can read through the whole thing. We're using the Gamatsu translation, and it says, Currently, development of the latest title, Final Fantasy XVI, is in the final stretch. As a single-player game, Final Fantasy XVI aims to unify the story and gameplay experience. Unlike online games, which portrays multiple players at once, Final Fantasy XVI has an individual focus, which makes the story more immersive. I think the story has become quite deep. My hope is that the adults who had grown up understand the rules of society, and drifted away from Final Fantasy thinking the real world isn't as easy as a video game, can remember the enthusiasm they had back then. That's what we're keeping in mind as we make this game. Actually, we're also going to read over Audrey's translation of this because that one was kind of weird and hers sounds a little more natural. And this translation says, We're in the final stages of development for the new numbered game in the series, Final Fantasy XVI. We aim to deliver a comprehensive game full of story and gameplay. Unlike an online game that involves many players at the same time, Final Fantasy XVI offers a different experience where it focuses on the individual player and immerses you in the story. I think it's a very fleshed out story. For those who have grown up and realized that reality isn't kind to you and have drifted away from Final Fantasy, we hope that FF16 will be a game that can bring back anew the passion that you once had with the series. So it's nice to finally have an update for the game that it's nearing completion, at least on the development side of stuff. They're still going to have to like test it and polish it and stuff like that. So it's hard to say, at least as of right now, how far away the game may be. Maybe if they're doing like some sort of big info dump in the next month or two or something like that, we'll probably have a better idea then. But at least the game is nearing completion of development. Something that's kind of weird to me is that Yoshi P talks about like wanting to bring in lapsed fans, people that don't really play the franchise anymore, try to reignite that passion. But if you're talking about that, then you wouldn't be making this style of game. Like people that don't play the current like Final Fantasy games, the last several releases or whatever, are people that are probably really into turn-based games, and that's what they want, that's what they enjoy. So I don't know why this would bring those fans back. Unless he means people that don't play the franchise anymore, but play the more modern, like, hack and slash sort of games like this. The Soulsborne style games, which I think is what 16 is kind of trying to be, like Stranger of Paradise, something like that. It may be trying to bring those fans back into the franchise, which I think Stranger of Paradise did a pretty good job, right? I wasn't the biggest fan of the demo that I played, but that shit was pretty... I haven't heard about it in a little bit now, I don't really see people talking about it too much, but when it first released, dude, everybody was talking about Stranger of Paradise. People seemed to love the game. So if the style of combat's relatively the same... To some degree, I'm sure it'll be a success. I and mean, it's Final Fantasy 16. Like, it's going to do good regardless, right? But yeah, the game nearing the final stages of development, it's kind of hard to say that because it is somewhat of a broad term. It could mean that the game's already, like, done being made and, like, final stages of development means, like, they're polishing the game, fixing it up, trying to get it ready for release. Or it could also mean that they're just literally nearing the end of development, as in making the game. There's still the, the polishing stages and all that other shit. So it could be a little while. I, I still expect it this year, but I guess that remains to be seen. Pretty much the video, my dudes, there's not a whole lot to say here, but I do want to ask you guys a question because I know E3 was like canceled this year. What sort of upcoming gaming events might there be in the next month or two that they could reveal some information for 16 or any other like scoring style games? Do you have a scoring presents coming up? Is there another state of play at some point? I don't know. Like, what, what's happening? When can we next hear about this game, really? Also, since we actually finally have an update for this game now in the final stages of development, for one, what do you think that means? But also, when do you expect it to come out? And I think it, that the fact that we have that update, final stages of development, whatever it means, I think it's safe to say at this point that it's probably for sure coming out before Remake. There's definitely Remake Part 2. We've kind of had been back and forth on that here and there with the lack of information for 16. But I'd say at this point it's pretty safe that this one's coming out first, which is kind of what we've always thought for the most part. My dudes, that's going to be the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Instead, more Final Fantasy 16 content. And yes, we're going to be talking about this game because your boy has a PS5. We were kind of lackadaisical, so to speak. That was a good word. Because I didn't have a PS5. Didn't know if I was ever going to really be playing this game. But now that I can, we are going to be covering it. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter. That's I'm a Discord. Links to networks are in the description. End of the outro. Later. It was a hell of an outro. Used to care what people thought.
but now I care more, man, nobody out here's got it figured out, so therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it, so insecure, no one's perfect, we spend it, with no shame, we blow that, like Coltrane, we in here, like Rogaine, or leave it, like Cobain, 